Paul, you had an opportunity at the end of the game to you know, exchange jerseys with Wayne Wade. I you know you guys have been playing against each other for you know, quite some time. What was it like to be able to do that with a guy that you know, you've been playing against for so long? Yeah, it was dope. Uh, you know, D Wade is a guy I look up to, and, and uh, you know, he's been, you know, we've shared a bond through competition and, and now through a uh, mentorship um, as a guy that, you know, I look at um, and, and honestly want to model uh, my off brand and off the court um, stuff like. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's great um, for him. You know, he's had an amazing run. Um, couldn't say enough really about D-Wade and what he's been to this league and um, honestly what he's been for uh, my development. He played a huge role in uh, my development and who I am now as a player. PG was, he's had some rough nights in this building, obviously, some nights that didn't go his way. You think he might have taken out a little frustration tonight? No, I don't think he was thinking about that. He's in a groove, man. I wake up in a groove. He's been playing phenomenal basketball. You guys, I mean, I've said it plenty of times. That's my favorite player. I love watching PG play. Um, you know, obviously, you know, to put 40-something up on us is not what I <laughs> would have wanted, but I just enjoy watching that guy play the game of basketball on both ends of the floor, um, you know. Uh, but, yeah, he had it going, and, um, you know, they kept finding him, and uh, it, it, was, it, was, it was a loud, quiet, 43, you know, he wasn't he wasn't gunning, he wasn't, you know, forcing anything. He was just playing in the floor of the game. How over the years have you gotten so comfortable? They tried trapping you, they played zone, they played man to man. It seemed like you just took it all in stride. Yeah, I mean, I've seen every defense, uh, seen every matchup, every way being guarded. Uh, just put it all together. Russ has the quietest triple double you've ever seen. How, how good is that team? Yeah, very good. Um, built, they, they built very well. Um, you know, with shoulder with that was one of the best trades, uh, obviously, of this offseason, you know, when it happened. Um, you know, so to have, you know, Russ and PG and Schroeder and Adams as your top four and then, you know, other guys plugging in and, and doing the things that they need to do. So very good team over there. Um, and play with a lot of freedom. Uh, play with a defensive tenacity as well. Uh, so it's, it's a good team. How are you guys able collectively as a team to just, you know, Stay away from the noise, you know, the news per se, you know, it's per se, in the Western Conference, maybe, for example. Uh, I mean, we, we got to keep it up. The West is so competitive. Uh, we, we can't have any slippage. And that's just how we're looking at it. You know, there's no room for us to take uh, steps backwards. Uh, you know, one loss could, you know, shift and, and definitely landscape. Uh, you know, seating and everything. So we're, we're focused. We know where we want to be. We know where we want to get to. At the end of the day, that's, that's, that's all I want to do. I want to be a champion. In a way, it's like I want to come here, I want to play for the home team and put a Laker jersey on. That's always going to be something that I want to fulfill. But at the same time, it's like, what's the best move, though? Mm -hmm. I know who I am as a player. I just want to help a team win. Right. And I feel, you know, I feel comfortable doing so that with, you know, with Russ. Still, you can't regret it. Right. Once you make this decision, whether you make a decision where you're the number one guy, or you make a decision where you're the second, third, whatever. Right. You make that decision, you got to be okay with it, and you're going you're gonna to bring the best PG to that decision.